Okay, so this is a short video tutorial to demonstrate how to uh, find objects either with the mark value or the ID value in a project. There's some limitations using the mark value, but it can still be handy in tracking things down. So we'll start off with that. So in the host model, and these pipes happen to be in the host model, if I select this pipe, it lets me know that the mark number is 7282. This can be tagged. Uh, that can help me uh, find it later. It's useful information uh, that I can give to somebody else to help them find this pipe a little bit more quickly than rather than giving them um, a combination of, of section views and, and uh, grid lines and, and things of that nature. Um, if it's a linked model, you'll need to tab, hover over it, make sure that your select links is, is turned on and then hover over it, tab, until it's selected. So, for example, I selected this pipe insulation in a linked model, and it also gives me its mark number, which, again, can be useful for me to track that down. Now, a, a more useful feature, even, is the ID. So, again, in the host model, this will only work with items in the host model. I'll select it here, and then if I go to the Manage tab, with that item selected, notice that in the Inquiry panel, there's this tool, IDs of Selection. I'll click on it, and it gives me an ID number. Okay, I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, and then I'll deselect it, and I'll just kind of go to someplace else here in the model away from it. And let's say I'm looking for that. Well, with that armed with that information, I can then go to select by ID, paste that into here, and click click on the show button. It takes me right to that object, and that's very handy. Um, unfortunately, with nested objects, that is not available. I can go to Manage and IDs of Selection. It's, it's going to be grayed out. However, if, if someone gives me the ID number from the... let's see, how do I want to put this? If someone gives me the ID number when they're in the host model, in other words, if I was in this model and then I pointed them to them to that, uh, you could find that eventually, either with the clash detection or with the select by ID. So that'll find that in that fashion if that makes sense. All right, so uh, any other questions, feel free to put a post on my uh, in the, on the comments field there in the uh, YouTube comments section. Thanks.